last Christmas was amazing. We had everyone together at the Comics Cafe Christmas party. The Kirbys, Mason, Millie and Kylie, my brother Blake came back on a break from his school, and my best friend Taylor even came back to visit. Um, Bree? Yeah, Taylor? I'm not just visiting, I'm staying. What? No, I'm sorry. I must have misheard you, Taylor, because if that were true, it would be the greatest thing to ever happen in the history of things. Well, it is true. Because, you know, Mom and I had both missed being here so much, she kept looking for jobs back in Arcadia, and, well, she found one. This is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> that if only Blake would stay. <laughs> Look, as much as I love your little bistro, Brie, wait, wait, wait. I... I'm sorry, bistro? <laughs> this is a cafe, comics cafe. Both start with C. What if we called it like the books bistro? That's got a nice ring to it. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Not, no, we're not doing that. Look, I love your little bistro, okay? But I, I, I gotta go back to the design school in a couple weeks. I, I, I'm learning so much there. Yeah. Look how to make these weird cookies. Mason, that's the rice paper that I'm making. I thought it was a little grainy. All right, guys, listen. I'm trying to construct a comic book for my new hero, Planet Man, with locally sourced organic materials, okay? Oh, are you making a scarf for the scarf giveaway at church? Yeah, you know, since I'm back for good, I thought I'd really like to get involved at church. But... I don't think that the scarf drive is going very well. Why not? Well, our goal is to help people who don't have enough warm winter gear, right? Right, Pastor Eric was talking about the Ephesians, a church during Bible times, how they all got along and worked together to help others. Yeah, well, I did the math and there's gotta be at least 200 people in Arcadia who don't have winter gear. So you need 200 scarves? At least. And at our first scarf making meeting, it was just Mrs. Oglethorpe and me who showed up. You'd better weave fast. Well, it, it's, it's knitting. And Mrs. Oglethorpe could probably knit 100 scarves by Saturday, but I definitely can't. Mm. <gasps> I know, what if all of us help too? I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, I would love your help, but do you know how to knit? But scarves are sweet. I'm in. Hey, I, I actually know someone who crochets. And they have like tons of bamboo yarn. I could just hit them up and they'll send us some. Neat, okay, yes. Yeah. I can already picture the show-stopping musical I'm going to write with songs like, why don't we crochet some scarves and ooh, 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 I'll try knitting a cable stitch. I'm, I'm not sure Here, that that's really gonna- what you need is a start pay me account. People can send you money online. I already have this one like three fifths of the way set up. A fundraiser for the Scarfinator 4000, no, but, but we're just knitting, so. You have to make it sound cool or people won't give. I got it. I could totally write a superhero that only has yarn abilities. Let's check. Uh, not hero. Huh? No. Mm -hmm. uh, textile man. Oh, no. I know. Okay, I, I, I don't really think that that's. No, I'm not uh, throwing away my yarn. I'm throwing away my yarn. Like what sound would he make? So I just need a credit card mm -hmm. number. If you so could be like yarn coming up, right? It's too right. chaotic. Oh, I just have to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to. Because we all stop. If we're gonna help, then we all need to be doing the same thing. So get ready to get organized. So you use the tip of the right needle to draw the new loop of yarn through the stitch on the left needle. It's like a sliding motion. Pulling the new loop of yarn under the left hand needle and through the center stitch. Ow, I hit myself with the needle again. There's no complaining in knitting. My hand is cramping up. Ah, ah, ah. I'm almost finished with another one, but does anyone else want a snack? Oh, I can make us some smoothies. Who wants one? I could go for a quinoa and chia seed blend right about now. I take a jack of banana peanut butter sprinkle. Protein powder for me. Okay, I'll be right back. Guys, I am so sick of knitting. We all have awesome ideas. We could make this project so much more epic. We can get a ton more people to help too. <sighs> you guys, Taylor would be thrilled. I hope you're ready for the best smoothies you've ever All right. And introducing... 
fabric. This guy, he can shoot yarn out of his wrist and he can talk to cats. Get it? Fabric? Fab. Brick. Stitches, 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 stitches. I love you. Ah. But Taylor, isn't this great? 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 Oh, I knew that you would love this. And hey, listen, with all of our powers combined, we are gonna give away a lot of scarves. But, but this is for church, guys. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, we, we can't have all of this. We can't be, ma you know, making musicals and, and comics and that. We're making scarves, not comic books. Right, Taylor, I, I'm no good at knitting. Okay, and I, I always write comics. It's like the one thing that I'm actually skilled at. Okay, but how is a comic book going to help us? And, and what will the others from church think? I mean, we all have to do the same thing. Uh, yeah. No, I, I, I get it. We'll do things your way. Uh, sorry. Okay. Mason. <laughs> what do you think of my new sport? Yarn hockey. Now, it's like hockey, but with yarn. Now, I've been trying to get some videos for our social media campaign. I've had Bree make a ton of knitted hats, mittens, hockey stick warmers. You, that is very inventive, but can we please do it normally? Okay, we're, we're supposed to be making scarves, not all of this. Right, right, what? <laughs> yeah, why would a hockey stick even need to be warm anyway, right? Mm -hmm. Now, this room. Hey, Taylor. Bree? <laughs> did you hear the new musical I'm writing? I did. It's all about knitting. It'll totally make everyone want to be a part of your project. Listen. Stitches, 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 stitches. You know, I, I, I heard it, um, and I just don't think it's gonna work. You, what? Look, I, it's just, it, it's really not what I was expecting. And um, we're supposed to be making scarves, not musicals. And I really want to hit the goal of 200 by the end of the week. Right, I, I think I just got carried away. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Um, I have your smoothies. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Um, you know, I think I forgot something in the back, so I'm just gonna go get it. <laughs> Okay, what is everybody's problem? I mean, what's so wrong with wanting us to do the same thing? I mean, that's how scarves get made. Besides, isn't that what, like, being a part of the church is like? I mean, we all live the same way, we all believe the same things. Pastor Eric talked about a church from the book of Ephesians. So, how did they all get along? Ephesus was a huge city near the sea where tons of people traveled in and out of all the time. That meant there were all kinds of different people living there. I'm Theophilus, sailor. My ship just got into port. Hi there, I'm Miriam. I sell fabric in the market and I'm a teacher on the side. One day, a leader in the church named Paul visited Ephesus and started teaching people about Jesus. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm here to tell you about a guy named Jesus. He died and came back to life. He changed the whole world. A lot of people in Ephesus decided to follow Jesus because of what Paul said. Paul helped them start a church, and then he traveled on to tell more people about Jesus. Gotta go! 
the people in Ephesus had to figure out what it looked like to follow Jesus. Well, obviously, everybody should teach people like I'm doing. I just love it. Then Moses raised his staff. Well, I don't really like teaching. I'd really rather help people and serve them instead. Come on, you've got to do things this way. Why? Who put you in charge? Ugh, this is why I don't like sailors. It wasn't easy. The Ephesians disagreed sometimes, they didn't always get along, and when they needed help, they wrote to Paul. And he wrote back. Christ Jesus himself is our peace. He has destroyed the hatred that was like a wall between us. You are no longer outsiders and strangers. You are citizens together with God's people. Yeah. Try, hmm, try your best to remain as one. Let peace keep you together. Paul wrote here, we can work together like different parts of the body work together. Hmm, I guess. My eyes are different than my hands, but both are important. And my ears work different than my nose, and that's a good thing. Yeah, it'd be pretty weird if I was just one big nose. <laughs> Maybe uh, Paul means it's okay if we have different things that we're good at. And we can have different skills and come from different places and still follow the same God. Like, I can teach. And I can serve. And teaching and serving are two different ways that we can build the church. So, through the story of the Ephesians, we see that everyone can be part of the church. Wherever we're from and whatever we're good at, God made everyone to know him and follow him. He designed us different on purpose. So if everyone in the church helped out in different ways, what does that mean for my knitting project? Everyone from the first churches was so different. They, they came from different places, they could do different things, and that's how it was supposed to be. What would Mr. Kirby say about this? God made us all to be different, Taylor. I know, but why can't the others just, just do what I want them to? I mean, it would make the project so much better. Would it? Or could you be overlooking something? What if the others are doing everything that they can to make this project better in their own way. In their own way. Wait, no, what if I've been going about this all wrong? What if, what if I've been so focused on what I'm doing that I've completely forgotten to take care of those who I'm doing it with? I've, I've got it. Thanks, Mr. Right. <laughs> Attention, everyone. The answer is 42. We're not in school, Mason. Oh, sorry. Look, I am really excited about this project. And I realized that I can't do it on my own. And I don't think that even the four of us could make 200 scarves. So I, I thought, that we need to let people know about what we're doing. And it might help to put an ad on the radio, maybe with an original song. Really? Yes! I'll go write some more lyrics. And I realized we really do need someone to help raise money for more yarn. Mason? 
I'm so far ahead of you. I just need to set up the incentives. <laughs> Blake, your comic is such a great idea. You know, maybe we could make a pattern of Fabric's logo and put those on the scarves. Yeah, 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 that'd be awesome. Uh, we'll get to work on it right now. Okay. So maybe it is better when we all use our own skills. Huh. I wonder how I could use my skills to help us make more scarves. And another one done. Sweet, that's number 200. Yeah, and thanks to your idea, Mason, we've been able to give away 50 pairs of mittens, 30 hats, and three hockey stick warmers. Well, this invention of yours is amazing. Yeah, I call it the Scarfinator 4000. Nice. And I wouldn't have even been able to invent it if you hadn't helped raise all that money. And we wouldn't have had so many people to help if Blake and Bree didn't do all that advertising. Well, thanks for giving our ideas a chance. Turns out all of us together were greater than any of us apart. Yeah, you know, I, I think that's what being a part of the church is all about.